We just received a Dell Alienware M15 R7 with an Intel Core i7 12th Gen processor and an RTX 3060 graphics card. The customer reported that the laptop does not power on. So let's dig into this machine and see what could be going on. Right away, I can tell this laptop most likely suffered from overheating issues. Both cooling registers above the keyboard are completely clogged with dust. Let's flip the laptop over, remove all the screws from the bottom case, and also the rear cover. A very important note here. To reach the motherboard, you need to remove not only the bottom case, but also the rear port cover. This piece is held by two screws hidden between the ports, so don't miss those. Once that's out, we can remove the bottom panel completely. Now we have a clear view of the inside. First, I'll disconnect and remove the battery. It's a simple step, just a few Phillips screws. If you ever need to replace the battery, it's a very straightforward process. This model has two RAM slots, both replaceable by simply snapping modules in or out. There are also two SSD slots for storage upgrades, plus a replaceable Wi-Fi card secured by one screw. Now the most important part, the cooling system. Honestly, I think Dell did a poor job with the design here. To remove or replace the heatsink, you need to take the entire motherboard out, a long and inconvenient process. So I'll start by disconnecting all the ribbon cables and removing the remaining screws, then carefully lift out the motherboard. On the other side, we can clearly see the large heatsink and two cooling fans. The fans themselves look fine and not too dusty. But once I pulled the heatsink, I noticed right away that someone had worked on this before. The thermal paste isn't original, which means the customer most likely tried to service the board and clean the fans. Looking closer, I don't see any burnt capacitors, liquid damage, or obvious physical issues. This leads me to believe the problem is with the power delivery system, which would require deeper diagnostics. Unfortunately, we don't perform board level repairs here because of the time involved and the volume of devices we process. However, we do have buyers who purchase these defective motherboards, repair them, and bring them back to life. So the board still has value. The last step here is disconnecting the palm rest assembly from the LCD screen. We'll keep the rest of the parts as spares for future repairs. That wraps up today's teardown. As always, love and peace to everybody.